Okay, welcome to um, how to get the template onto Inkscape and um, add your designs and get it ready for the laser cutter. Um, in your design, there's probably this pewter casting template SVG, and it says good. We have lots of versions out there that have problems, so make sure you're using this one. If you click on it, it probably is going to tell you, whoops, there's been a problem. Come up to the three dots, click on open a new window, and give it a second, and hit download. Okay, once it's downloaded, uh, go show in Finder. Now you can either open this from uh, Inkscape, but since it's an Inkscape file, it, I should just be able to open it up. That's good. I'm going to go full screen and press 5 to put it fit the screen. So there. First thing you need to do is go into um, the document setups and make sure your, your default units are CM. And you can put these on CM as well. And it should be a US letter, which is okay. It gives you a little workspace to work with. Next thing, you need to click on it, and we need to change this to the right settings because for some reason the uh, template keeps changing size. So I'm going to type in 12.8976. I'm going to lock the aspect ratio, and I'm going to press Enter. And this is the exact size we want right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, I went back to my downloads, or wherever you have your... Um, scanned copy so you've got your email you've downloaded that wherever that might be this is McEwen example I'm going to click on that and since it's a JPEG it opened in uh, preview so that's a problem so I'm going to flip over to Inkscape file open I'm going to go to downloads I'm looking for McEwen example name Let's see oh my goodness McEwen example here it is it's a JPEG I'm going to say OK. It's going to open it in a new window. I'm just going to grab it, copy, and I'm going to I'm going to try that again. I'm going to Control C, Control V. Oops, I put it in the wrong one. There it is. Control V. Notice it's really large, so I'm going to use the plus minus key to back up. I'm going to hold control and when I hold control it keeps the aspect ratio the same. I'm going to bring the smaller one. I'm going to hit 5 to size it. Okay, This is a JPEG. I want the SVG. So I'm going to go to path, trace bitmap. Of course I'm not clicking on it so I have to cancel. Try that again. So I'm going to click on it, path, trace bitmap, click on live pre preview so you can see. Click OK. Takes a few seconds. Click the red to close that dialog box. And we can look at, there's our SVG here. And this is just a JPEG. Okay. Just to show you the difference, if I zoom in here, you can see the difference between an SVG, which is made up of vector points and lines, and the JPEG is made up of pixels. Okay, I'm going to hit 5 to back out. I don't really need this anymore, so I'm just going to put it off to the side. I do need to rotate this, so if I just click on it, you see how the rotation and the resizing tools change? I'm going to, I'm just actually going to use this just to click it once. Again, I'm going to pour it like this. I'm going to put it in place. That's good. This will be my raster. It'll cut raster this part, and then it'll cut these parts off. All of these need to be resized to 0 .003 for the vectoring part. But I'm going to go ahead and select all of this, copy and paste, and place this one below it so that I have it when I need it. Because I need just the outer of it. And that's a lot of dots, so I'm going to Click plus to kind of zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to click on it. Then I'm going to come up to path, I'm sorry, object, and fill in stroke. I'm going to unfill everything. You see, basically I took the fill off and all the black disappeared. But I'm going to go over to stroke and I'm going to give it a stroke. And you can see there's all the vector lines. Next thing I'm going to do is go to 
um, path, and I'm going to break apart this whole vector um, object. Now it's individual vectors. I can click on them and then click the selection tool and delete them. I think I can just delete, oh, I can just delete them using the selection tool. I have all these little tiny dots that I should probably get rid of too. Let me see if I can. So, so clean it up a little bit or it will raster all of these things too as well. There's a lot of them here. So clean up your area and then once that's done we'll make this a vector line for cutting. So it'll cut this all out and then we'll have the raster. That's your two molds you need. Just to show you what you else you can do with this, uh, with this raster, I mean with this vector, is you can actually create a pretty nice color version of what your final product will look like. So I've just filled this one with red, I filled this one with yellow to show what the, the resin casting will look like. Just another way to show an artist rendering. So it, hold on to this uh, file because you might need it um, in the future. So file, save as. We're not going to call it Peter Casting Template SVG Good. You're going to put your name um, and Peter Mold. And go ahead and save that somewhere you can find it. Say OK. And then put it on a USB and take it to the laser cutter. Thank you.